At 21 years old, Dina Bowden was a world traveler. Having studied abroad in Spain and Mexico, the bilingual international marketing major was just eight hours away from graduating at Arizona State University when the unthinkable happened. I had a call from my dad and um, he asked me to to sit down. Leslie James, Bowden's sister, says that phone call from her father revealed Bowden was brutally murdered inside her Tempe apartment. The case would go unsolved for nearly two decades until DNA finally linked Clarence Dixon to the crime. It, it's been a very long road. A 43-year stretch that James feels may finally come to an end. Clarence Dixon is one of the two men Attorney General Mark Brnovich is filing a motion against to move forward with his execution. The other is Frank Atwood, a man convicted of kidnapping and killing an eight-year-old girl in 1984. One of my priorities since I've been Attorney General is to make sure that we move forward with the ultimate punishment for criminals that have committed the ultimate crimes. But activists are fighting back. It's very troubling news. Jared Keenan with the American Civil Liberties Union says capital punishment is never the answer because of flaws in the justice system, adding it won't bring families the closure they think it will. You know, I, I don't want to in any way try to belittle the, the, the pain that um, these families are going through. Um, but, you know, study after study show that the death penalty is, is harmful in many ways to victims' families. James says she doesn't feel like Dixon's execution will be closure, but it will be the justice her and her now deceased parents have fought for. Finally, there is justice. Uh, finally, that process is done.